Hi everyone, it's Brian Town again with Michigan Creative. I want to take you through an easy and simple way to make or at least start a business page on the Mobile website. So again, what you do is log in and they'll take you to your landing page here. And this is your profile page. So this is a little bit different than your business page. And so this, if you see your name here and it says, uh, you know, hi Brian Town's got my picture here. This is my profile page. But what I want to make is a business page for my business, Michigan Creative. So what I'm going to do is come up here to the tab and it says home, member contacts, and businesses. I'm just going to go ahead and click on businesses and this will allow you to browse through all the different businesses that people have created here on Maba. And As you can see, not everybody's on here yet so we're hoping that uh, more of you uh, get to this and maybe it's just because you didn't know how and that's what this video is for. So what I'm going to do now, it says browse members, my business page, which would take you, take you to my business page or Michigan Creative or your business page once you're logged in. And then I'm going to go right here and create business page. If you've already created one and you want to just edit it, that's where you would go to my business page. But I'm going to create a new one here and so I'm just going to click create business page. I'm going to give it a title and I'll just call it for now Michigan Creative Video. So it won't overwrite or say, hey, wait a minute, you already have one. And now I'm going to choose a photo or my logo. So I'll just hit choose file. And I'll just find a photo that's on the desktop. Or I guess what I'll do is I'll actually get a logo um, so that we can actually use it. So here's a logo right here. It's not for my company, but it's for a different one. I'll just hit OK. And then I'm going to type in this is my business page and you would type in all sorts of stuff about your company. You can add video, you can add photo, and basically works just like Microsoft Word. Now these tags are optional, but it's probably a good idea to put tags in there or maybe keywords that your business is related to. So I would put video, uh, Michigan, uh, creative, you know, so all kinds of different tags that I might want to put in there. And then I need to choose a category. So I'm just going to look through here and look for a category. And if there's video production in here, I'll do that one. Um, if there's not, maybe I'll do web services. Marketing services would be good. So I'll just click on that one. And then I'm going to put in my zip code, which is 48823. And then I'll hit Save. Once I hit Save Changes, it's going to save all the changes that I just typed. And then it's going to bring you to a page that allows you to change just about everything else. I can edit the basic information. I can have a page photo, which will be this one now since we put that on there. Here's my basic information, which will give me the country, the state, the city, the address, the website, the phone number, more description. So go ahead and fill all that out. And every time, make sure you hit Save Changes. Also is where you can add some team members. If there's somebody else that you want to add to post to this page or be able to edit this page, you can add employees. And you can change your privacy settings to be included in the search results or not, let the public see it or not, register members only, um, and things like that. And that's really about it. So if we went back to view this page, I can show you what it'll look like. There's not going to be a whole lot of data there. But you can see that I've got my photo, um, I've got some information, only the information that I filled out, and then I have a like button that somebody can come and like this page. So again, real quick, if I wanted to create a new business page, all I would have to do is go to my profile, which is what you'd automatically go to when you logged in. I'd go to businesses, and then I'd go to create business page, and then I would just give it a title, URL. Basically, the URL is going to be the name of your page. Notice as I type here, it also types down here. So you don't have to fill that out. It fills out for you automatically. And then always remember at every change to hit Save Changes. And that's how you create a business page in the MABA website. Thanks for your time, and talk to you soon.